during the Ford, when you leave your home, what percentage of people would you say you see wearing masks? As Fort Wayne. Today, we received uh, 19 newly reported cases of COVID-19, and yesterday we received 39 new cases. Local elected and health leaders say if you thought the coronavirus scare is over, think again. Allen County alone has had 2,262 cases and 91 deaths, with 264 new cases and nine deaths just last week. Over the past three weeks or so, we've actually seen double the number of patients hospitalized for COVID-19 every day. In fact, those numbers are much higher than they were in the early days of the pandemic in March and April. Health and elected leaders say while it's important to reopen the economy, everyone must do their part to keep the number of cases as low as possible. As all of us really want to reestablish that sense of normalcy in our lives, that maybe we are not being as diligent as we could or should about masking and distancing and hand hygiene. Believe me, the I just want to be done with this darn COVID thing, I echo that myself and so do our staff. However, the, the situation that we're in is not something that's likely to go away anytime soon. Sure, more people are being tested and more people are out and about these days, so higher numbers were expected. And while social distancing, wearing masks and washing hands won't eliminate the coronavirus, it will significantly reduce the spread because spikes in cases could overwhelm hospital capacity. COVID-19 becomes lethal, most lethal, when, it, when our systems are overpressed. They've seen it in New York, you've seen it in New Orleans, and you've seen it in multiple places throughout the world. Elected leaders say while other communities are mandating wearing masks, Fort Wayne and Allen County are strongly recommending that people wear them. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC.